my first uh, summer internship at Kennedy Space Center. I got to see one of the shuttle launches and that first shuttle launch and watching that spacecraft go into the air and hearing the noise and watching the alligators jump out of the water because it was so noisy for them was just so inspiring. How did Earth become what it is today? And is it really special? Why do we exist here today? These are the types of questions that made me the scientist that I am now. Hi, I'm Jim Green, NASA's Chief Scientist, and this is the Gravity Assist Podcast. In this season of Gravity Assist, we're going to go behind the scenes at NASA, and we're going to hear from the scientists, engineers, and others that work so hard to make these amazing space missions happen. And I always like to ask my guests to tell me what that person, place, or thing, or event that happened to them that got them so excited about being the space professional they are today. I call that their gravity assist. Uh, when I was about seven, I was riding in the family car with my father, and um, on the radio, we heard about John Glenn orbiting the Earth. And I remember asking my dad, what's that mean? And, and he explained it to me, and I thought, I want to do that. I, I want to be an astronaut someday. There was, in the course catalog, ices and oceans in the outer solar system, taught by Carl Sagan, where I first learned about Europa and um, about Titan and Triton. If there was a sort of uh, pivotal gravity assist for me, it was in my, my senior year when I took my first geology course. I'm a farm boy from southern Indiana, so we had dark skies on that farm, and all you had to do was look up and see all those stars and wonder. I would say that my gravity assist are not engineers or scientists, but are actually my parents. So I would say that's the gravity assist in my life, getting to NASA the people who loved and supported me through the years. What was your gravity assist? Tell us on social media using the hashtag gravity assist and check out the podcast. It's at nasa.gov slash gravity assist.